My name is Erik Gerske and uh, I'm working at the Union Global Compact and I'm leading the ocean work. Together we try to find out what are the sustainable business solutions for the world to really deliver on the sustainable development goals by 2030. And at this point in time, wild fish and wild catch has reached its limits. It's only aquaculture that really can be scaled up. And to do that, we need to do it in a sustainable and with a low impact as possible. Hi, hi, hi. Now, welcome. Surmark produces uh, salmon for the global market. In the daily basis, we have to feed the fish every day. We check the water quality all the time, 24 7. We measure uh, oxygen, temperature, salinity in the water. We're working outside uh, in the nature, so we have to take care of the nature at the same time that we produce food. It's one of the most important things we do. Farming salmon is a huge responsibility because we are responsible for the well-being of the fish in our care. And we are also responsible for the well-being of the nature where we farm. And therefore, Sermak based all its farming decisions based on science and knowledge. Um, and in Sermak we have an R&D department that drives knowledge development throughout the value chain from egg to harvest. And this helps us secure a safe childhood for the juvenile fish uh, that we have in our freshwater facilities and also healthy growth of salmon uh, in the clear cold ocean where we have our sea farms. CERMAC has made a, a roadmap describing how we will pilot, validate and implement uh, new digital tools in our operations in Norway, Canada and in Chile. We are working on implementation of machine assisted feeding systems. So we feed a fish till it's satiated every day with very little uh, feed loss. The food sector as a whole today contributes to almost a quarter of global greenhouse gas emissions. The seafood sector has a really central role to play. It's a climate friendly food source, uh, it's healthy, and uh, for us to feed a billion more people on the planet in the coming decade, this is becoming more and more imperative. Together we can find the best solutions, uh, and to together we can scale impact. That's why partnerships and collaborations is so important. CERMAC is selling to over 50 countries around the world, and each market has different needs. So it's our job to educate the consumer about where and how the fish has been raised so they can be confident that our product is safe to eat and that it is produced in the most responsible way. Therefore, traceability across the value chain is one of our top priorities in the market. If you look at the cage over here, it doesn't look that impressive, but um, if we go six, seven meters below the surface, we have uh, quite amazing uh, development of a new technology. And the aim of this project is to develop a technology where we can keep a health record of each individual fish and treat them individually in the cage. This will really improve fish health, fish welfare, and also reduce the footprint of our production. I think it's not only interest for me, but I think everybody is very keen to see how this global industry can take a leap towards using technology on site to limit any harmful footprints on fish health and the environment. And this very advanced technology is something that can be made available for the whole industry at large. Salmon farming has such a good position already, we believe that these new opportunities will be really attractive, not only for investors, customers and authorities, but also for all of us so engaged in sustainable food. It's good and it's healthy. <laughs> Responsible aquaculture and salmon farming is part of the solution. We have to work on every step in the value chain, from foodstock to high product quality, uh, food safety and transparency. Um, I'm hoping that uh, what we do uh, can inspire other companies 
to take action on, on climate change and, and sustainable development. New technologies and new science can really drive this transition into a more sustainable aquaculture industry. And we know that companies like Sarmak, which we are so lucky to visit today, and others leading in the industry together can share their insights and drive new technology trends. And we need much more of this, much more, if we're going to fulfill the promise for the world we want by 2030, providing nutritious and healthy food for everybody.